All right, thrift shop hauls. Yo, girl, let me get at you. All right, so I love thrift shops, but usually I buy a lot of junk. So recently, I went to an estate sale thrift shop. Not gonna lie, I volunteer there. So being raided by the VA, I can't work. Um, due to some issues with the military, I had a hard time and I can't really do much of much. Um, I've had reconstructive ankle surgeries and I'm fixing to get another surgery on another ankle. I have some back issues and all I can really do is just flutter my eyelashes and barely get my makeup right. But I want to let you know, I got some sick threads y'all. Some sick threads. Okay, so first foremost, I did not spend more than $200 on any of it. On any of it, okay? So I'm thinking I'm going to Italy, right? Italy is gonna be dope as fuck. And sorry, did I just swear? Okay, Italy is gonna be great. So I bought a leather bummer jacket, right? So the sweet girl at the counter, her name's Angela. I'm going to post it down below. I'm setting up the Instagram account and everything. So check this out. It's a bomber jacket, right? But look at this. It's reversible. So I thought, man, this bomber jacket is insane. Look at this. It is so darn cute, right? And I'm just like, how much you want for this? And she's like, 30? And I'm like, all right, it's suede. And it doesn't feel like leather, right? It feels more like kind of like a pleather material. So we're thinking, oh, it's not worth much. You know, we're like Googling it. There's no tags in it. You know, it looks good. It looks nice. Hold up. <laughs> so when i get home and start airing it out because you know people smoke i start going through the pockets and i'm like man there has to be a tag somewhere girl ladies and gentlemen can you see what that says oh, come on lens bally youtube if y'all know who Bally is, let me just give you a flash. Do you know what I just paid for? An almost $2,000 leather jacket? Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Thrift shop, estate sales, link below. She ships. All right, next. All right, so, of course, I've always wanted a beautiful, long trench coat. Because I'm going to be at the base of the Dolomites, you know, the Italian Alps. So, this is a Ralph, this is Lauren, Ralph Lauren. And as you can see, it's got this beautiful fur on it. Okay, for all my anti-fur people, whatever, this animal has already been dead and it's vintage it's warm i've hunted my family is a very 2a family we have a gun safe that is full it can hold 20 longs and a whole bunch of pistols so if you're not into the 2a rights please i'm sorry don't dislike this video as me if i do not like your videos on youtube I simply click next and I go to a different video. I don't leave a nasty comment, whatever. Anyway, so this one is an absolute babe. And I feel absolutely gorgeous. So when I go to the markets in the winter, I'm gonna feel great. It goes all the way down so I can wear my nice rain boots. Oh girls, I even forgot to tell you it comes in matching gloves. So this one ran me 40 in its wool. 
But don't get me started on this one. Oh, you're going to kill me when I tell you this one. So I had to get this one researched. My brother's an animal enforcement law officer in the state of Florida. But let me show you something before I even put it on. Oh, does that say Yves Saint Laurent? It's real. Mink beaver. I have a pair of some faux leather pants and I have some huge hoop earrings that would make this just look absolutely divine. <sighs> mm. Mm. This one I felt weird about getting because this is for real, real, like, this is no kidding, like, real, 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 real fur. There's no denying it that this is real fur. The Ralph Lauren, I could probably get away with saying is fake. This is no kidding real. And it feels so luxurious. And the shoulder pads, everything, but look at that detail. I might get blood thrown on this one. Again, if you are PETA, if you are someone who is against this, please don't hate. Appreciate. This is a thrift store find and I'm loving it. I thought it was fake until I saw that tag. All right, now this one. Oh, man. Y'all are gonna kill me for this one's mink. Let me unbutton it for you. This one was definitely made. And it is so heavy, it even has arm holes for it. But it is straight up mink. And it is just divine. This is more like a, I'm going to the gala, hold my coat. And I think I got this one for about 35. And it is just insane. Soft, real, and insane. I do have a faux one, faux fur, so for those who are absolutely hating right now, you can thumbs me up for the one that I'm coming up with next, okay? Absolutely insane. I just can't even with this thrift store haul. Also, these were all purchased at Five Toes, State Things, link below. This one was purchased from Annabelle's Attic here in Tucson. They are a wonderful place, as you can see. This is faux, but also lovely. It's missing a button, so it just needs a little tailoring. This one was only 20, but would you look at that? Came with a button, just needs a little fixing. What do you guys think? This one's faux, it's not real, super soft but not real so drop a link below what you think subscribe um this is my little thrift store coat haul i'm gonna have some more thrift store hauls also a walkthrough of 520 estate things a little antique shop that i actually volunteer at and help out with i am not employed with them associated with them it's just something i do in my spare time i like to give back especially to women who are starting up businesses and stuff like that. I am not a raging feminist, but I like to see people in need starting up. If you have any questions, drop them below. All right, see you later, YouTubers.